Hey, Frame Woodworking here. I got another shop upgrade, shop tip to share with all you viewers out there. If you've ever struggled with cutting sandpaper and getting it accurate or getting it to be the right size uh, for a particular machine or a sander, it's really hard just to take sandpaper and rip it accurately. Even sometimes on the edge of the table, it can be difficult. If you have some scrap laying around, if you have a piece of plywood that's about 12 inches by 8 inches, little scrap of hardwood for a fence, and an old recycled hacksaw blade, I can show you how to make a little jig that'll help you cut sandpaper cleanly and more accurately. Come on over to the bench and I'll show you how this is done. We're going to keep this build pretty simple. Even the beginner should be able to accomplish this task. I got a scrap piece of plywood from a leftover project, a little piece of hardwood here I'm going to use for my fence, leftover hacksaw blade. What we're essentially going to do is take our hacksaw blade, mount it across our plywood, attach our fence. So first thing I'm going to head over to the table saw and I'm going to cut this plywood down approximately 12 inches by 8 inches. Next, drill a couple pocket holes in the back of your fence. Three should be plenty. Attach the fence towards the rear of your cutting jig. Take a square and make sure that your fence is going straight across your board. We'll also use that to reference our hacksaw blades. Go ahead and drive in some pocket screws. Now to determine where your hacksaw blade is going to go, uh, it's really a matter of preference. You can always come back with your square figure out different sizes, and draw straight lines across your jig to reference where you might want to cut. You just want to take your measurement from the front teeth of the hacksaw blade to wherever you'd like. If you have one particular size sandpaper that you use over and over again, I recommend going ahead and measuring from your fence to the front of the hacksaw blade. That way you'll be able to easily cut those most frequently used pieces every single time. All right, I marked my most frequently used line. I'm going to line up the teeth of my hacksaw blade up with that line that I've marked. I'm going to come back with some painter's tape. Tape that down in position. Just want to make sure I have material on either side. Come back with my center punch. I'm going to go ahead and drill my pilot holes for my pan head screws. Go ahead and drive in two pan head screws. When you're driving those screws in, don't make them super tight. You need to maybe keep it a little bit loose. You might have to play with how tight you make the screws so you have a little bit of lift in your hacksaw blade. And there you have it. An easy way to slide your full sheets of sandpaper in, line them up with a mark, and easily cut nice clean pieces of sandpaper. So go ahead and give this a shot in your shop. Uh, hopefully this will come in handy. You can also make this to mount on the wall and I'm sure you guys can come up with a bunch of different ways to modify this jig. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to catch more tips, tricks, and projects brought to you by A-Frame Woodworking. As always, thanks for watching.